Very well, ladies and gentlemen. So we are back with again. Now, 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 why am I making this episode? Because we have a concrete evidence that Arsenal are moving in for a new winger, baby. Yes, Facundo Torres. He is the winger that Arsenal are looking after. And my God, how do I know this? Well, so many uh, media update has been out. And yes, Arsenal are interested in Facundo Torres. We're going to talk about him. We're also going to talk about Alan Shearer's Premier League Team of the Week. We're going to talk about... Uh, uh, Huge deal of Arsenal news, so stay tuned. And of course, if you seek regular Arsenal content, the best place to be, consider subscribing, man. The first news is, of course, Alan Shearer's team of the week fuck, uh, is uh, here. And uh, William Saliba, Reese Nelson and Thomas Tehepate have actually made the team of the week with three, uh, uh, no, sorry, four of Newcastle players as well. So Newcastle has been playing some fantastic football and they deserve to have a minimum of four players there as well so interesting to see how how they will go on about in this season well uh, talking about the resurgence the and the establishment of reese nelson yes ladies and gentlemen arsenal squad are showing their love for reese nelson with bukai saka posting this on his instagram stories about reese nelson yes that was that was a moment of love shown by bukai saka well, not only him, well, ladies and gentlemen, it was the big man, Emil Smithrow, sharing this similar uh, Love It Bro is what he posted on his Instagram stories as well of uh, Reese Nelson. But more importantly, it was Aaron Ramsdale says, my man, bulky, so happy for this kid, man, Reese Nelson. Yes, we love you, Ramsdale. We love you, Nelson, for what you did against Nottingham Forest. It was a fantastic performance. Arsenal needed a fresh breath of air and of course Buka Saka needed a much, much uh, awaited rest as well. So we move on from here. Well, yes, it's really interesting and refreshing to see Rhys Nelson kicking it up for Arsenal. But moving on, let's talk about uh, more other stuff. Well, Premier League Team of the Week for whoscore.com is here as well. Yes, the Premier League Team of the Week is here and we have Rhys Nelson, Martin Odegaard and of course Gabriel Jesus in the 11 with Callum Wilson and Joe Linton from Newcastle United making it and of course Ilan Melier make it make into makes into this as well as uh, Alan Shearer's team of the week team as well so interesting to see what the future holds but more importantly Takehiro Tomiyasu Arsenal defender has made it into Japanese national team squad for the 2022 World Cup in Qatar congratulations to Tommy and of course he deserves more and of course that's a that's it's a really great news isn't it well Mikel Antonio was at the match of the day and he loves what he's seeing with this Arsenal young team he says this Arsenal team reminds me of old Arsenal the unbeatables this is what you you're seeing now how they're playing and the free football that's one thing I've got to say well done to Arsenal and the owners they stuck with Arteta yes they did and of course, Michael Oliver has been appointed a referee for Arsenal's away game at the bridge against Chelsea on Sunday. And Jared Gillett will be on VAR. Yes, Michael Oliver. I don't know. All right. So uh, I, I've got a news update regarding Bukayo Saka. Yes. Uh, Mark Irvine says that Arsenal's medical team are encouraged by the fact that Saka was able to play on for 15 minutes after the initial collision before coming off as a precaution uh, and the fact that he was able to leave the stadium without the need of crutches or a protective boot. So yes, Saka did not suffer any serious injury. He could be available to face uh, Chelsea on Sunday. It was a precautionary measure for to remove him. And I think it worked really well because Reese Nelson did demand a chance from fate and boom, he got one. He got one, a big one. Well, talking about Facundo Torres, yes, Charles Watts confirms Arsenal's interest in Facundo Torres. He, sa he says discussions over a potential move for Facundo Torres very much at an early stage. He has made an impression on the scouting team, but it hasn't really gone beyond that yet. Further talks planned as Arsenal continue to look for Saka's cover. Well, uh, also there are reports coming in from a lot of sources that Edu uh, has planned to a meet for a meet. Also, uh, uh, according to ESPN.com, 
Edgardo La Salvia, who is the agent of Facundo Torres, confirmed to ESPN that he will meet in the next few days with Tony Lima, a scout for Arsenal. La Salvia acknowledged that there is still nothing advanced for Torres on behalf of Arsenal, but interest exists. There were reports all everywhere that Edu is going to meet his agent and boom, 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 boom. So many things coming up. But that's the update. It's an interest. Nothing more than that. Also, Birmingham, Birmingham City manager um, John Eustace spoke about Austin Trusty. He says he's going to be a top player. He's going to go back to Arsenal and hopefully push for that first team spot. He deserves to be going to the World Cup. His performance for us having been exceptional and they are only going to get better. Yes, he has been fantastically phenomenal. The best defender in the championship for now. And that really has worked for him, isn't it? I mean, it really did. It surely did. Well, surprise, surprise, FC Barcelona's clear leader of their project is Javi, but the club also likes Mikel Arteta a lot, say, Diario Sport. They would want what? Mikel Arteta to Barcelona. In the comments, I want to know, guys. I want to know. Mikel Arteta to Barcelona. I want to know what you guys think about that. I know it's not going to happen, at least for now, but let me, let me see what happens, man. Unbelievable. Also, uh, Tom Bogart speaks about uh, Facundo Torres. He says, Arsenal have not contacted Orlando City over a potential move for Facundo Torres. Well, according to uh, Arteta about Reese Nelson says, the way he talks, the way he reflects, the way he respects decisions, he is a joy of a kid. We all want him to be successful and do well. What he has done today for the team is something he really means. Reese Nelson says, I've never doubted myself at Arsenal. It's a team I've been at since I was eight. I have a very strong bond and love for Arsenal. My plan has never been for me to leave Arsenal or say that I have no future here. I will do everything possible to get there. Well, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We were looking for a winger. Boom. And that is the winger, man. Well, Takehiro Tomiyasu has told the Sunday Mirror that he is used to play as a holding midfielder back in Japan. So he says, when I was in Japan, I used to play as a number six. I started playing as a fullback three or four years ago in, in Bologna. But it doesn't matter where I play. I'm happy to play anywhere on the pitch as long as I help. So let's see where is go uh, because we saw a glimpse of him being a part of the midfield against Nottingham Forest as well. I saw that and I was like, bro. Bro, we see City, City fullbacks go go into the midfield and actually try to venture a lot, and uh, we kind of I saw that as well. So I was I was I was really surprised. So let me know what you guys think about it. Make a lot to Arteta to Barcelona. Are you ready for that? I I ain't ready for that. So let me know what you guys think about that. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, cheers.